Once you have all your tasks entered, including their sections and any other grouping that might be required, so here we have a number of phases such as initialization and planning, and then a number of sections, and we've got meet clients, discuss needs within initiation, and within planning we have scope and requirements, gathering, dev plan, test plan, deployment plan, etc. Once that's all in place, you then may wish to do some moving around of some of the tasks, or editing some of the tasks, or even deleting some of the tasks. Taking the software development all tasks file, because this is the file that we have in your working folder that has all the tasks now entered, whether they've been typed in or whether they've been imported from our Excel file. The first step, if we want to edit, is to simply pick on a task, such as this one here, create scoping document, and it may be that we wish to edit either the duration or the task name. If I wish to edit the duration, I can simply click on the duration and either use the little up and down arrow here, and that will amend the actual number of days for this particular task. Or if I want to change the time pattern, so I don't want days, perhaps I want to now go to weeks or months or even down to hours, then all I need to do is simply type over the top. So if I click away, click back on, create the scoping document, let's get things sorted and do that in six hours. I can just type 6H over the top of the cell. And when I then move either left, right or down, that six hours is then accepted into the cell and you can see the adjustment over here on the Gantt chart. We now have a six hour bar. Obviously, if at any point when you're editing, you do something you weren't meant to do, you can undo. There's a little undo option up here on the quick access toolbar that has a drop down arrow next to it showing some of the more recent items. So that's how far back you can undo. It is effectively back to the last save of the document. If we want to edit the task name, if you want to change it completely, you simply click on top as we are now and just start typing. So instead of create scoping document, I might want to call this prepare documentation for scoping. And that will replace the whole contents of the task name when I move across to the left, the right or down. Let's go to the right and I've now replaced the whole task name. If I undo, it will go back to create scoping document. If however, what I want to do is only change part of that. So I want to effectively edit then I can do F2 while I'm on the cell, just as we are there, just like you can in Excel. And that opens up the task name box for editing. And you can see we're now actually inside. So I can make change, create scoping instead of the word document. I might want to say create scoping files and pictures. And then again, I need to move to left, to right or down, or even up actually, for that to be accepted as the task name. I can also do editing the task name and the duration in what's classed as the task information box, which I can access by double clicking anywhere on the line. That brings up the task information box, along with a few other things in here that we can access and we will access as we go through the rest of this title. Here's the name of the task that I can just click in and change. There's the duration box that I can then click in and make any changes. Again, the up and down arrows will keep you in the same time split. So I'm in hours, up and down goes up and down. If I want to change to days, or minutes or weeks, then I have to type over the top. Whilst I'm in here, I can also change this to an estimated task. All that effectively does is put the question mark at the end. Now, when it comes to project planning, every task is an estimation. So rather than scatter these question marks everywhere, I would personally suggest that an estimated task, where you flag it as an estimated task, is one that you need to go and do a little bit more research on to find out how much closer you can get to a real figure. So it's just a little flag, but it does make a difference because if we flag it, we get a question mark and then that whole section. So if I were to flag the scoping thing there, for example, as estimated, it then says actually the whole scoping section is estimated. Therefore, the whole planning phase is estimated and the knock on effect is that the whole project is therefore estimated. So I would use these question marks sparingly back into the box. I can take the tick out. So they're there, but be careful with them. Whilst we're in the task information, one other thing to point out here is the ability to change the priority. So all of our tasks have defaulted to 500 and we can put anything between one and a thousand. Now the priority itself does not make any difference at all until at some point in your project plan, you either decide to filter by the task priorities or there's a clash of resources and we need to decide which task to do first, in which case the one with a higher priority number would take over. So you can change that value here they're all in the middle by default, they're all at 500, and you can go up or down from there. So okay, we'll save any changes you've made to that particular task.
So we can edit the task name either here on the screen by clicking to get in or F2 to get in. We can change the duration or we can go into the task information and double click and make those same changes as well as having access to the estimated flag and the priority box. Now, if you want to move a task because you don't feel it's in the correct flow of things, then we can grab the task here on the left and then just grab again to move. And you can see as you move, you get a fainter gray horizontal line and that's where it's going to drop it. So if I want to move, create scoping files and pictures, say that down two tasks in order, I let go and it moves down to here. Task number changes, these task numbers stay in order. So effectively my task now has a different number and the two that moved up also now have a different number. But any relationships that have been created, of which we have none as yet, they would still be maintained. However, I would certainly advise not really moving tasks once you have the Gantt chart in place because the arrows over here can then start to get very untidy and messy and hard to read. So any moving that needs to take place should be at this sort of stage now where we're building the project plan. We've got the tasks in. They're in a sort of roughish chronological order, but you might feel that they're not quite, in which case you can just grab and move them around. We might want to move a few at a time so I can highlight, say for example, 40, 41, 42 grab all of them and move them up and all three of them move to their new location and anything that was in the way gets moved down again undo we'll put them back to where they were so we have the ability to edit tasks move them around if necessary and finally to delete them so should we decide we don't need a task anymore this one here i'm not going to bother creating estimated durations i select the task on the left hand side there so it actually selects the whole task and then a simple delete on the keyboard will wipe that task out and it's gone. Notice there was no confirmation. Are you sure you want to delete a task? So be very careful that you did mean to delete a task. Obviously undo will bring it back. Now you do need to make sure that you highlight the whole row because if you only click on create estimate durations, so just on the title there and delete, it actually only wipes out the contents of that cell, which happens to be the title. So a little undo will bring our title back again. So it's to select the whole row should you need to delete a task. You can also do it on the right click here should you not wish to press delete on the keyboard and you'll see there's a delete task option. So again, it will go, no confirmation, but there is the undo to bring it back as long as you haven't saved the project file at that stage. So we have our tasks in place. We can edit them, we can delete them very carefully and we can move them out and about in the order that they appear in the task list here. The next thing, proceed on to is the ability to add notes or linked files to any or some of your tasks.